everybody, E here. Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. Today we are talking about the my the second read uh Sorry, the second book I've read by Rio Ewers. Ewers? I'm not sure. Halcyon. Man, was this book good. Um, there, there is a... Ooh, I just read this. Ewers is a Stephen King or King for a new generation. I don't agree with the Koontz part, but the King part, definitely. Um, he's not like Stephen King. Uh, he's nowhere near as prolific either, but he's, he's good. He's good. Um, his character development is on point. Um, I really liked the two girls in the book. Um, certain scenes, man, just utterly destroyed me and broke my heart. Other scenes toward the end had me so entirely filled with rage I was tearing my fingernails off, chewing on them. And no, I'm not exaggerating. I chew my nails anyways, but this was this was ridiculous. I was making my fingernails bleed. Um, also, I jumped back and forth between uh, the physical copy. Thank you, Wayne, Wayne Fenlon, for sending me this. It's even signed, guys. But I jumped back and forth. See? It's signed. Yay. Um, but I jumped back and forth between, ooh, got dark, uh, between this and the audiobook. The audiobook also is fantastic. Um, I highly recommend that. If you like audiobooks, check that out. Uh, the story revolves around a father and his two daughters. They move out to this island that's supposed to be a kind of uh, away from the world kind of deal. And it, end up, it tells you very early on that this is basically a cult. Uh, and I, something moon, I can't remember, uh, there was the mother moon and then there's glam moon. Glam moon is the place that mother moon and all these mooners, <laughs> moonies, whatever, uh, want to get to. Uh, so there's a cult aspect. If you like books about cults, this is another good one. Um, I really couldn't find any fault with this book. Uh, like I said, there are parts that will tear your heart out. There are parts that will definitely fill you with dread. I would say the last 70, uh, last 100 to 70 pages, I was completely on edge and I couldn't stop reading. I was reading it a little bit at a time. Dur dur I was listening to it while I was walking about, an, about 45 minutes to an hour at a time. And then I was reading another 10 to 20 pages a night. But once I got to those last 100 pages, man, I couldn't stop. Um, he, he brings out not really a plot twist, but he brings out certain events. Is like, I have to know what is happening. And of course, he waits until the very last bit to to give you the uh, the maybe the relief that you need. Um, it I wouldn't actually I wouldn't call this I wouldn't really call this a horror novel. It does have horror elements, but it's definitely more of a thriller um, or suspense or whatever you want to call it. By the way. If any of you guys know the difference between thrillers and suspense, let me know down there in the doobly doo because I have no idea. Because usually doesn't it say like thriller slash suspense, but when you go onto Amazon, there's two different categories. There's thriller, and there's suspense. Whatever. Um, yeah. So this is highly, highly recommended. Um, if I didn't like it, I'd tell you. Also, if I didn't like it, this review would probably be longer because I'd be sitting here bitching. But uh, have you read Halcyon by Rio Ewers? Uh, let me know down there in the doobly-doo whether or not you liked it or whether or not you disliked it. If you disliked it, I'd especially like to hear from you um, because I can't find any fault with it. So let me know. You're not going to uh, destroy my enjoyment of the book. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.